There are two ways that you should be evaluating your staff's performance, qualitatively and quantitatively. Qualitative assessments are done through observation, and it's your general sense of how someone is performing. Depending on how closely you work with a person, to some degree, you can judge how good they are at their jobs and where their strengths and weaknesses lie. Quantitative evaluation, on the other hand, is more objective and data-driven. I'm not talking about those rubrics that you might use for employee evaluations. No. These quantitative assessments are a really great tool to use with technical staff, and they can help you determine their proficiency level in a specific topic or all job competencies. So here's how it works. You start with the job competencies, and then decide which skills your staff need to be proficient in. Then, through demonstration or testing, you can assess your staff's skills and knowledge. These are really great tools to use for hiring, succession planning, and other career advancement opportunities. But here's the deal. You need both. There's no single checklist or tool that's going to give you the whole picture. There's so much to a human being that cannot be evaluated through testing. So if you're going to use these tools, make sure that you have a qualitative and a quantitative element. One more thing. Also, if you're going to use these tools, make sure that you're using them for empowerment purposes and not for punitive. Assess your staff's abilities and determine their gaps against their job competencies. But use this opportunity to train your staff to fill in those gaps. That's how empowerment works. You already know that you have great people. So now you can elevate them or empower them to the next level. Do you agree? Thanks, y'all.